Welcome back to another Behind the Sound video. My name's Ardil and welcome back to our YouTube channel, guys. Today's video is yet another video on Wilfried Zaha's Lamborghini Aventador. We're talking about a little bit more today about the fabrication side of the sound system that we're doing, plus going into a little bit more detail about the actual wiring and what we're doing and how we're doing that on the install. So inside the front tub area, if you haven't watched the previous videos, we've already talked a little bit of product overview and also a little bit of run through about where stuff's gonna be placed. However, some of the wires are in the process that is now mounted actually in the front tub. As you can see, wheels are off and we're starting to run cables through from the actual inside of the vehicle here, through the bulkhead and into this compartment here. Reason why we're doing that is first of all, it's got to go positive and negative, needs to go straight onto the, the positive needs to go onto the battery here and the system will all be earthed back here as well. However, all of the cable run to get in signals into from the actual head unit into the actual new amplifier needs to run from inside the vehicle through here alongside manufacturer wiring into the amplifier and then that will then amplify the whole sound system. The reason why we use processors and the reason why we're changing over the application state because it changes an immense amount of detail in terms of how power is delivered to a set of speakers. Basically we're taking signals from the Lamborghini system into what's called the processor. The processor on this one is called an Audison Bit Nove. Basically it has what's called DSP, Digital Sound Processing. What it means is I can plug in my computer right at the end, do a full digital setup, but also what it means is we can actually EQ the car, set it up and tune it to exactly how we want it to sound. We've actually taken a few songs from Wilfred Zaha already, then we're gonna be tuning the car to those songs and his music taste there. So it's a fully customized system, not only on the install, but also actually on the setup. So that's basically going into a processor. Processor basically what's called de-equalizes, cleans up all those signals from the Lamborghini stock system, heads that into a new amplifier. And on that occasion, we're using the Voce 5.1K. That then amplifies directly out to the new speakers. Speakers wide, we've gone for the Audison Thesis range at the front, and then we've got the Audison Prima 18-inch sub between the two seats. Obviously, cable runs basically to go into the front. The way the manufacturer runs them is above wheel arch, so we do exactly the same thing, hence why wheels need to come off. Inside here, what Steve's working on at the moment is running the cables through actually into the vehicle and looming them up. So as you can see, we've got the gold cable here and a black cable, which looks like for the DRC. Um, as you can see, what Steve's doing is using tester tape, cloth tape to run alongside manufacturer wiring and looming everything up so it's all neat and tidy behind the scenes and it looks pretty stock. Obviously, these are the things, the reason why we're highlighting these videos to you guys is showcasing what level of detail we go into. So not only does the actual look of the system look nice behind the scenes with all these tapes and stuff that we use to m kind of match or look alongside manufacturer wiring, but also it helps with resonations and rattles behind the scenes. It's the worst thing when you get a new sound system, you turn it up or even just drive down the road and you've got these awful rattles. This is one thing that corrects that because obviously as it's being taped up now, as it's being loomed up together, what actually happens is obviously that cloth tape actually stops that wrestles and resonations obviously it's all going to be cable tied through and neatly all together and loomed together so there's no chance of that anyway but not only does it look good but it also forms a purpose in terms of rattles and resonation so that's basically going to be running through into the actual engine, uh, into the luggage compartment in the front. And what we've also managed to do is soundproof the door. So what we're doing in terms of the soundproofing, is using a sheet like this. So this is kind of two A4 uh, sheets of paper size. In essence, you've got a two mil layer. So this is what gets supplied to actually inside the door. So it's a product from Skins. The reason why I use the two mil layer actually on the actual doors itself is mostly because of weight. Because these doors need to go up and down freely, we can't add too much weight in above what the manufacturer's struts are expecting. So we limit that by not using the three mil, we use a two mil layer to get more coverage, but also still performing really nicely to give that a far better enclosure for the Audison thesis to uh, speak to work in. As you can see guys, the dash is fully removed, seats are removed, wheels are off, there's a lot stripped down. That's why these systems take time to do and they're done professionally and properly each time. So inside the door, now they're prepped, ready to go. We've got the oxygen-free cable from Connections run into the doors. That'll be run up to the A-pillar as well for the new tweeters. And that's that cable just there. Um, and we're running cables backwards, backwards and forwards from the amplifier to the new speakers. So it makes a massive, massive difference. There's no point in having these systems when you're not installing decent cable behind the scenes. It's imagine basically you've got 
a, a, the cable between is what's actually delivering the, the kind of signals and sound in essence, if you would. So having poor quality speak cable behind the scenes and poor quality cables in general is going to cause you guys an issue later on, but also you're not maximizing the products themselves as they're going into the vehicle. So that's basically a little bit of a run through of what we've got here. We're going to come back here a bit later on in the video. Hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. Please guys, make sure you've liked, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Other than that guys, we're going to head into the fabrication room, check out what Carl up to and we'll go from there. Hello Carl. All right. Yeah, not too bad. So, uh, Carl's been working on the fabrication side of things for the Aventador. Um, so we're going to be talking about the a pillars to start with. So Carl's actually working on one currently. So this is one that's kind of a little bit prepped. So we'll talk about this as well. Inside the a pillar, this is actually a 3D printed part that Carl actually designed himself as well. That actually allows the foundation for the Audison Thesis tweeters to sit into it. Because we do so many Thesis tweeters and custom a pillars, uh, they look really, really nice when they're done. They look pretty stock as well they're not too obtrusive we always try to find a sort of subtle balance between looks cosmetically but also sonically as well having a tweet on axis is a world of difference basically because higher frequencies your ears are more perceptible to hear exactly where that sound is coming from that's why always in an ideal world you have your tweeters and your higher frequencies playing directly to you and that's the idea of having these speakers on axis so as you can see here what Carl's doing is filling fiberglassing and basically forming a bit of a mold um, to actually line it up make sure everything's inch perfect make sure they're identical as well but also actually getting it so smooth inch perfect ready to actually retrim as well which everything's done in-house this is basically fiberglass filler work and a lot of time uh, and skill that goes into building something like this but also giving that finished product is going to be insane obviously there will be loads of videos at the end of the install once we're all done of actually showcasing how it all looks as a final thing so make sure you stay tuned for those ones because they will be very very impressive so that's a bit more about the a pillars um, there and then what we've also got down here which you can talk a little bit about is this little panel so this little panel is actually a back plate that actually sits and bolts the sub down to the factory panel. So it's very, very important. We'll probably do a separate video when we start fabricating the sub panel a little bit more. But overall, that's basically a bolted panel that sits onto the actual Lamborghini factory bolt position. So there's no holes drilled to add the sub into where we do. And then this is the form formation of the sub box to start with. So obviously there's a lot more to do to this sub box to get it to where it is. As you can see, there's already be some fiberglass filling work to get it, give it the curvature that we want. There's a hell of a lot more work to do to that to get that where we need it to be in terms of another thing that we're working on so these are basically the custom 3d uh, custom speaker adapters that we're building so these are completely built in house as you can see they've got a real curve to them towards the bottom reason why that is and this has been developed over time uh, is actually the reason why this curve is here is because of the curvature of the car how the speaker adapter and the speaker grill sits on the vehicle so we don't want to modify, modify the actual door card itself however what we want to be doing is actually building a far better mid base and I'm going to measure this up against the car now showcase exactly that so inside here basically the reason why this curve is here so inside the door if we head over to the door here so the base basically the speaker ring to give a bit more mid base you again because it's a slightly higher frequency being played we want to have that sound pushing up into the actual vehicle itself so what we're doing is that's going to be basically mounted just like that so it means that there's no modification done to the actual door card itself. We've gone into factory positions in terms of the screw holes there that we're holding in the factory plastic speaker adapter. And what we're actually be doing is make, building that curve up so the Audison Thesis speaker can sit inside that, fire a bit more mid base basically up into the vehicle and it makes a world of difference. They sound so, so strong and they literally just fill the car up so nicely. So all we're going for is a two way front end. So the Audison Thesis tweeter, the six and a half inch driver that's going to be built into that fiberglass ring that will sit inside the door behind a stock Sensenum grill. Then we're going to have the 8 inch sub between the two seats providing that base right between the seats. It literally moves you so so nicely. I've literally just finished up tuning the white Aventador 
door that's behind me. Um, and that actually sounds incredible. And this is a very, very similar system and it's gonna sound incredible too. So really looking forward to getting this one up and ready. However, we'll do plenty of warm videos showcasing a little bit more about what goes on behind the scenes on a system like this. But there's plenty more to crack on with guys. So we're gonna leave you there. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. See you soon.